If you're looking for the five best games which have hit the iPhone, iPad or Android stores this week, then you've landed yourself in the exact right place. Our list is a finely curated one of brilliant, fresh titles which you can download and play without subscribing to or installing any third-party initiative, which means no Apple Arcade, no Google Play Pass, Game Club, Hatch and all their mates. There are great games on those services, don't get us wrong, but we want to focus on the stuff that you can grab right now. This week we've got dark fantasy gamebooks, a mind-bending puzzler and a chicken-bouncing platformer. So here are our top five games of the week. PocketGamer.com's editor, Dan Sullivan, has already played 23 hours of optionally idle RPG Soda Dungeon 2, and he's enjoyed his time with it, ranking it higher than most of the auto-battlers and clickers which have been sent his way over the last couple of years. It's stylish, it's funny, and it's got quite a bit of content considering it's built around loops and instance resets. It's also kind of cute with its alcohol-free theming. We all know the soda could just be a beer tap, but it isn't. Likewise, we know that the creme brulee that's attacking us could just be a level 7 Wendigo, but the design choice is to steer away from D&D tropes. Soda Dungeon 2 will be releasing on Google Play, the App Store and Steam later this year, but Android users can access it through Google Early Access right now. Round these parts, we love a good gamebook. And having played the first three chapters of WarQuest, we're happy to say that it's a great one. While the dark fantasy setting isn't really anything new, the developers have done a really good job of realising the world, even adding a few quality of life features that aren't regularly featured in these kind of games. For instance, you can click on certain locations, gods and concepts to get snippets of lore, meaning you control exactly how much you need to invest in the world building. It also does something quite neat with the in-app purchases. There are no ads. You simply pay to top up a currency which can be used to top up your health or energy. We never even got close to dying or running out of energy throughout the entire first chapter. So whatever happens, you're not going to get booted out after the first 10 minutes. WarQuest Game of Gods is free to download on the App Store and Google Play. iOS users might well recognise the technical drawing aesthetic of Reki. And that'll be because it launched on iOS and other platforms quite a while back. Now it's out on Android 2, and we'd be remiss if we didn't push you in its general direction. It's a fantastic puzzle experience which does a great job of leveraging all the benefits that smartphones can offer when it comes to puzzle games. It uses a lot of negative space and simple touch controls to deliver a deep, immersive experience that gives a great feeling of success every time you figure out a solution out on Android right now. Alter Between Two Worlds is a tile-based puzzle adventure game which deals with interlaced universes. Players have to solve puzzles by switching between two different planes of reality, both featuring different layouts of the floors that they're traversing. Only by switching back and forth between these two realms, and pushing a few objects around as well, will you make it to the end. From what we've seen of it so far, there is a definite flavour of Monument Valley here, albeit without the screen-twisting perspective stuff. But it's a neat concept and a premium game with no ads that comes in at under 3 bucks. It's available on the App Store and Google Play right now. So you enjoyed the chicken hopping antics of Super Faust? Well, have yourself some Super Faust too. It is still an explosive platformer where you tap on the left or right side of the screen to bounce your chicken upwards. Might sound a little bit strange, but we want to stress that the bright, cheerful and procedurally generated levels are incredibly welcoming. And that's even before we mention the juicy, squishing enemies, or the light pinball theme, or the uplifting music. It may not be doing anything super new compared to the original, but it's easily one of the most fun and accessible platformers we've played in recent months. It can be tough, getting that little chicken to drop down into the right spot is a real pain sometimes. But once you've deprogrammed yourself of all that flappy bird panicking about letting things fall down, we're sure you'll find yourself equally caught up in its world. Super Faust 2 is available for free on both Google Play and the App Store right now. That is our roundup for this week. For more videos like this, plus extended hands-on gameplay, review videos and the like, hit that subscribe button and head over to pocketgamer.com for all your mobile gaming needs. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.